There's two very good reasons why people don't like making eggs benedict. The first is having to poach eggs. That can be a complete nightmare. The second, how the hell do you make hollandaise sauce? We're gonna tackle both these cooking conundrums today on The Domestic Geek. There are a million different techniques out there for poaching an egg. Add some vinegar, add some salt, don't add salt, create a little whirlpool in the middle. And I can assure you, none of them are as effective as this technique I found online. Now, the gentleman who created it, he has this amazing video. I've included it in the link below because I do believe in giving credit where credit is due. But it actually has to do with straining your egg first in a little strainer like this. And basically the idea is that an egg is made up of the yolk, the egg white, and then sort of loose white that sort of surrounds the primary egg white. And basically what we're gonna do is strain that loose egg white, which is what causes all that feathering in the water, and create these perfect little poached eggs every time. And there's absolutely no need for this white to go to waste. You can add it to an omelet. It's perfectly good to eat. Now this may feel slightly more time consuming off the top, but I can assure you when your poached eggs come out perfect, you are going to thank me. Now what we have here is a deep pot. It's about halfway filled with water and it's at a simmer. Now you don't want your water boiling really ferociously. You want it just to be at a nice simmer while the bubbles are breaking the top of the water. We're gonna take our first egg and drop it in as close to the surface of the water as possible. All right, so we've set our timer for five minutes. Our heat is on minimum. The lid is back on the pot and no peaking until that timer goes off. Then when you see them, they're going to be sheer egg perfection. I have it peaked. Look at that. They look unbelievable and perfectly cooked. And they're beautifully poached. And now we're gonna get started on our hollandaise sauce. So hollandaise sauce is a classic French sauce made by mixing egg yolks and butter with a little bit of acid. In this case, we're gonna use lemon juice for our acid. And it actually requires a whole lot of whisking. So I hope uh, you've been working out and your biceps are up to the task. When it works out, it is totally worth all the effort. Now we're gonna do this in two parts. We're gonna start by melting our butter. So we're using a half a cup of butter. We're gonna let this melt down. Once it's melted, we're just gonna skim the top with a spoon. Try to remove as much of the milk solid as possible to make as clear a butter as possible. Any true French chef would tell you that you should be using totally clarified butter for this project. But I say, sometimes you have to take the path of least resistance. Now we're going to separate three egg yolks. Use the shells to help separate out the whites. You basically just want to go back and forth until you've isolated just the yolk. We're going to add our tart, tart lemon juice. It's going to work as our acid. We're also going to add just a little bit of water to add some light fluffiness. You want to basically whisk this until it sort of doubles in volume and gets light in color. Then it's going to be ready to go over our water bath. I have a pot of water here that's just barely at a simmer. What you want to do is put your bowl, now you can do this with stainless steel or glass, put your bowl on top of the water. The idea is to heat the eggs without cooking them. You really need to pay attention and be stirring this constantly because if it ever rises over a certain temperature, it's going to totally scramble your eggs. Bad news for hollandaise, bad news for you. Now what we're looking for while we're doing this is to see our egg yolks start to thicken up. You want them to start getting thicker, start sticking to your whisk. That's when you know it's time to add your butter. Think about how impressed your guests are gonna be. Once the butter is incorporated, it will start thickening much, much more quickly. You can see it's sticking to your whisk now. All right, so we are totally there, my friends. It is time to take this guy off the heat. We're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. I like to hit mine with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a touch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Benny time. We have our toasted English muffin, a classic. Then we're gonna top the English muffin with some delicious Canadian bacon that I have fried up. We're gonna top each piece of bacon with its very own poached egg. And then the moment of truth, our gorgeous hollandaise sauce. Garnish with a little bit of dill and serve this with a beautiful green salad. That's brunch, baby. Bon appetit. And for three more bodacious Benedict recipes, including a steak and eggs Benedict, 
a spicy Southwestern Benedict, and a sophisticated smoked salmon Benedict, please check out my new channel. And be sure to subscribe to my new channel for all sorts of delicious dishes and tasty tips. See you soon. Happy brunching, everyone.